This is code.org and ah, whoa, smile, clicker. Oh, oh, that's bad. I'm now in the negative. You are going to make an awesome app with your own icon, scoring system, theme, and code. Let's uh get going. And this is App Lab. Let's make a awesome uh clicker style game. Let's go. All right, so this is the code stuff. Ah, uh, scary. Let's start with the design stuff, though. We need a few things to make this work. I'll start. Mm, let's do a theme. You pick what you want. I'll pick what I want. That's how this works. <laughs> I'm funny. I'm not. Okay. Uh, dark theme it is for me. Now, we're going to need two items. And, well, two buttons, actually. So, button one and button two. Actually, I lied. Let's just do one button at first. This guy. And I'm going to call it my plus button or good button. Totally up to you, but you want to give it an ID that makes sense. This is going to add points to your score. I'm going to get rid of this text and I'm going to go pick an icon. So image, choose. I was going to do a happy face. You do whatever you want for your plus button. And my size, I was thinking 125, 125. That's looking pretty good. I don't really care about placement right now, but I am going to hit duplicate. All right, so let's go ahead now, and this is going to be my minus button. And with that, I need to pick a different image. Choose icon, frown. Now, we're going to need a score. Plop. What do I need with this? I'm going to call this score label. And let me get rid of this text here because I'm just going to write the word score so they know what this is. And I was thinking like 35. I'm going to make sure to center the text. That way when there's just one little number in it, it stays in the middle. All right. And that's really all we need for this. So let me head over to the code. So let's start with an on event. Now on event is what's going to occur when someone clicks on the screen. It's when you type on your keyboard. It's when you use your mouse. It's so when you speak to a smart speaker, that's an event that is occurring to the computer. Let me drag out my on event block. And what I'm going to do, if you can read this on event ID click. So on the event that the ID is clicked, what the heck is ID? Well, as long as you're not running this, if you hover over the button, I have a plus button ID, I have a minus button, right? And if I go into design mode, I can even click on my buttons again and still see it. So, yep, that ID is plus button. All right, so on the event then that the plus button is clicked, what do I want to have happen? I want the score. I want, if they click on this button, I want the score to go up. So let's see here. What could maybe have the score go up? I don't know. Text label. Hmm. I hope you're seeing it somewhere around. Set number. Boom. All right. So what we're going to do for the score, you could also use set text, guys, 100% correct. All right, what we're going to do for the score is I'm going to say, on the event the plus button is clicked, anything inside this green mouth thing will run once they click on this, on the plus button. So set number, score label, and let's set it to 1. Run, boop, boop. You see that? It updated. But it's never going to go up again, because it's only always going to be 1. But we have a way to fix that we need the score to change, right? So maybe score could be represented by X, and every time they clicked on our face, X goes up by one. What would that be? Hmm, that would be a variable. So way up here at the top, I'm gonna say var X equals blank, except I need a better name. I'm gonna say score or points or something like that, and I'll start them at zero. So actually, let me be generous at first and start them at five. So var score, we now have this variable score. And really, when we say score, it's going to always mean five right now. Just like in math, when you have one plus x equals three, well, one plus x equals three. What does x equal? Hmm, two, right? It's a letter that means a number. This is a word that means five right now. So now down here, when we click plus button, now I'm going to have it equal, set the number not to one, don't put the word score in quotes because a variable you don't put in quotes. I'm going to set it equal to score. Five. All right. But we need it to change now. So when they click the plus button, the point goes up. I'm going to now drag X equals blank onto line three. You just need to make sure it's inside the green mouth thing. And before we change up this number, because before we change the number on the screen, that's what set number does. It changes on the screen. 
we got to add to the score. Let me head over to math and grab a plus sign. On line three now, I'm going to say score is going to be equal to, and in code, we can write score is equal to score. It sounds weird. Trust me for a second, though. Plus one. So you might think, wait a minute, but score is up here. Oh, let me set it back to zero. Let's start in with zero. How in the world are you going to say score is equal to score? Well, a computer reads this this way. It says, oh, score has a new value. That new value is score's old value, O, oh, which is zero right now, plus one. Okay, well, zero plus one plot is one, and then it will set the number. Then if I click it again, watch. When I click this again, the computer will say on the event, plus button, yep, clicked, score. Oh, it has a new value. Okay, well, what's its current value? Its current value is one. One plus one is plop two. Set the score to two or three or four. So far, so good. However, we want our items, our buttons, to be able to move. Otherwise, this gets really boring really quick. Let's put in place that. We're going to head over to UI controls. And to move stuff around, we need to change the, we can go into design and I'll show you, the X position and the Y position, right? So we're going to change those properties. Set property, set size. I think there might even be set position here. I'm putting two of them because we're going to change the position of both buttons if it just clicked. So set the position of the plus button, set the position of the minus button. These last two numbers here are width and height. We're not going to change that. We don't need to change the size of them. So I'm just going to click this teeny little arrowy thing. Good job. Now, right now, it's just going to put them at 0x and 0y. Now, behind the phone screen, as long as you're not hitting run, mine's not running right now, I can see if you put your cursor on the screen, right now, mine's at x15, y12. Cool. Well, so if I want it to randomly appear on the screen, it looks like x starts at 0. What's it go up to? It goes up to about 320. I'm going to do a random number now. Code already has this all available for us. So I'm going to head to math, and here I am, random number, plop. And what did I say? I said x starts at a zero. I want to give it a little bit of buffer. So I'm going to say 50, and it goes up to 320. I'm going to say 50 to 250. And keep in mind, plus button x, y. So this is first value, minus button, is the x location, 50 to 250. Now, if you do this and you hover over, you'll learn that Y is at the top starts at zero. And then I know it's weird that Y goes up as you go down, but it does. Y at the bottom is 450. So now I'm going to do a random number for Y, one and two, except this time I'm again going to do a bit of a buffer. So I'll say 50 to 400 maybe. And you can adjust these numbers, of course, however you like. Cool. So let me go ahead and hit run. And what should happen? Blop, blop. Uh-oh, they're blocking each other. Oh no, I can't even see it. That's a problem. Because we only have programmed one button. This code is super similar. If you're familiar with functions, one could be used right here. However, we need this other button to work. Well, since we set this up so nicely, I'm going to click and drag, and then I'm going to hit Control c It's Command-C on a Mac. I'll then click on line 7, and hit Control V or Command V on a Mac. What I need to do now, instead of plus button, minus. Before I do that though, I wanna show you one other way. If you're like Mr. Kaiser, that's not working. All right, well, here I am again. I'm gonna go into Show Text. I don't want line one, make sure you don't get that. I'm gonna get line two down, highlight all of it, right click on it, copy. I'm gonna to go to line eight, right click and paste. Now I'll go back to block mode. I want to do the minus button for me. And now instead of adding to the score, I'm going to say score is equal to score minus one. Ta-da! You now have a, oh, oh, though, that wasn't what I wanted. Clicker game. Oh, I'm not that good at this. Oh, that's not fair. Awesome. I hope you have fun with it. Make it really awesome. Putting your own icons, your own scoring rules, all of that stuff. If you are interested in this, in the next video, I'm going to add a timer and a game over screen. Have fun.